hey guys welcome to the video in this video we'll be creating real-time object detection app in react native so this is the stack we'll be using we'll be using coco ssd for object detection coco ssd library will provide us the pre-trained model so how this works is we'll pass in an image tensor into this model for predicting the model will return an array of predictions each prediction will have class bb box and score specifying the object name coordinate for the bounding box and the score of the prediction i'm using real device for testing due to an issue with the tensorflow and emulator let's get started by creating the app I have provided the command for installing the dependencies in the description below. Camera with the tensor is a high order component that augments Expo camera component with the ability to yield tensor representing the camera stream. What this means is it will provide us the image tensor that is required for our object detection. I am using the values from documentation for setting up the tensor camera component. Here resize height and resize width is the width and the height of the output tensor. We should give small values so we can process the output tensor faster. When the tensor camera component is ready and mounted our function handle camera stream will be called with the image tensor. We will load the model from Coco SST library and store it in state variable. This is a pre-trained model as I mentioned before, we can directly use this for prediction. It will return an array of prediction containing the object details.
To draw the bounding box, we'll be using React Native Canvas library. The canvas component is similar to HTML5 canvas. We'll set the canvas height and the width to be same as camera height and width. In this case, it will be screen width and height. We will save both the context and canvas for later use. Before drawing the bounding box using the prediction, we need to scale them to correct values. Since the prediction coordinates are for scaled down image tensor, we need to resize the width and the height and coordinate to match our original image. For that I am getting the ratio. For Android the coordinates are flipped. That means bounding box coordinates is given from right instead of left. So we need to adjust that too. We'll loop through all the prediction to draw the rectangles. We'll calculate the correct coordinates by subtracting the whole width by the distance from right and the width of the bounding box itself. Finally, we draw the rectangle and the text on the canvas with all the calculated values. 